Hello and welcome to a very special edition of The Big Fight. Today, actually, we're not going to be fighting too much. At least I don't think so. What we are really going to be doing is trying to answer a question that many of us have had at the back of our minds for the last 10, 15, 20 days, ever since this entire discussion and row over Jinnah and partition started. Would we actually have been better off if partition had not happened? The instinctive reaction of most people has been who has, who's to blame for partition, but that's assuming in a sense that we would have been better off if partition hadn't happened. A lot of people have been writing in, including on our website, saying, well, actually, I think we're better off that partition did happen. So that's what we're going to try and settle over the next one hour or so. Please have your own views. Log on to NDTV.com right now. There's a live chat taking place there. We'll be taking comments from there as well. Let me start by introducing all our panelists who are all people who've got strong views on the subject and who've done a lot of work on the subject as well as to whether we'd have been better off had partition not taken place. Let me start by welcoming Salman Khurshid, who... Well, as of course, Minister for Minority Affairs and would have had a completely different brief, I guess, uh, Salman, if, if partition had not taken place. Um, the Muslims would have been a minority, but 33 percent. Larger minority. 33 yeah. percent or so of the, of the entire country. But um, it's, it's great to, get, to get, get your views on this. Ashok Malik, senior journalist at The Pioneer, somebody who does actually agree with the two-nation theory. Uh, well, certainly feels that, that, that we are better off. Uh, doesn't agree with the two nation theory. He agrees that partition served us. You agree that partitions have served us, served us well. Sir Mark Tully, uh, who is here both to defend the British. No, I'm just saying that to wind you up. I'm just saying that to wind you up, Mark. Um, but you're here to tell us whether you, what your sense of the matter is that if, if, would we have been better off or would we not have been better off? Shatrajit saying, well, you would have been Crown Prince of Kapoorthala, wouldn't you, if partition had not happened and if the princely states had still been around? But you're also uh, you're here in a number of other capacities as well. So I'll just call you Mr. Singh. Please I won't do. call you Yuvraj. Don't worry. I'll call you. <laughs> I'll call you Mr. Singh. Um, it's a great pleasure to welcome Tarun Vijay, who's of course been very close uh, to the RSS. He's also director of Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee Research Foundation. Thanks a lot for being with us. Ram Chandra Guha, it's a great, great pleasure to have you with us. Uh, historian, author, has done so much work on the subject. And we're going to be coming to you to get your sense of where we would have been without partition. And it also gives us great, great pleasure to welcome from Pakistan, Yusuf Salahuddin, grandson of Alam Iqbal, the man, of course, who was one of the first people to come up with the two-nation theory, also the man who wrote uh, Sare Jahan Se Achha, Hindustan Hamara. Thank you all so much for being with us. Let me just start by getting <laughs> opening comments from all of you. Um, Ram Gua, why don't you kick off? Tell us, would we have been better off if there hadn't been partition? That question has to be broken up into very di different component parts. Uh, the Jaswan Singh debate is about uh, partition in a specific context, uh, which is the cabinet mission plan which Jaswan Singh claims uh, Nehru and Patel scuttled, and had they not scuttled it, we would have had a united India. But as Ashok Malik has pointed out in an excellent article in the Hindustan Times, under the cabinet mission plan, you would have had a very loose center uh, with provinces having the right to secede and more than provinces, princely states having the right to secede. One of the reasons India is one country is because Sardar Patel uh, finally uh, got Hyderabad to join the union. Hyderabad was, in Patel's uh, words, a cancer across the heart of India. So, uh, in that sense, if, partition meant, if, if the cabinet uh, mission plan had been accepted, I think India today may have been not two states, but 14 or 24 states, and Hindus and Muslims both would have been worse off. But you see, uh, 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 an independent India under different species, perhaps under a stronger center, perhaps uh, you know, uh, with a more plural polity, we can't say. Certainly the princely states had no place in an independent India. So let's be clear about that. Okay. There should be no tears lost and no nostalgia for the dis disappearance of the Maharajas. Among the people who are most nostalgic for partition are the Muhajirs. Partition happened because Jinnah stormtroopers were really the Muslims of UP and Bihar. And they actually went across the border to Pakistan. There they were dominated by the Punjabis. Tuba .com.